1970s was to fill in 26 acres of Quincy Bay and have the primary treatment here. We fought and fought. We Quincy people, Hausnet people, fought and fought with the MWRA. Actually, it was the MDC at the time, so that they wouldn't fill in our bay. And it was decided that the primary treatment would go to Deer Island. So this had to become a headworks, which would then transport the effluent to, De to Deer Island after grits and screenings are removed. And that's what happens here. A headwork just removes a lot of grits and screenings. You'd be amazed at some of the things that come through the pipe. There's huge pieces of lumber, just, what? you know, um, shingles, whatever, you name it. It comes through the pipe, which comes from 42 communities as far away as Ashland. Comes to Nut Island, the, the screened out here, and the effluent goes through a new pipe that was built to Deer Island. While they were designing this facility, we lived very close here on the hill, and we said, you know, why don't you design the building with, with something that the community can use as well? And so they designed this community room in here, and the garden club is a result of the headworks being here. They said, we're not in the park business, we're in the water sewer business. We don't want to have a lot of park to take care of. So the landscape designer designed it with wildflowers and wild grasses. Some of it is mowed, but a lot of it is not mowed because we like to keep it natural. So the garden club came as a result of that. We said, hey, we have all these wonderful wildflowers and grasses here for people to enjoy. Let's have a garden club. So we started a garden club, and it's been very successful and a lot of the women in the net belong to the club. We meet here, have all our garden club meetings here, and in this room, you can, anyone could rent the room. There's no charge, you just have to call the MWRA Community Relations Division, and they will allow you to use the room. There is a kitchen as well. The only stipulation is no alcohol because it is a state park. Then. It, it wasn't part of the Boston Harbor Island State Park system in the beginning, but the Boston Harbor Island State Park decided it would be a very nice addition because of the beautiful gardens and the walkways that we have here.